Hey everyone, today is Thursday, the 23rd of August. Today is patch day for Star Trek Online, and they are ending Fleet Week today, but they have implemented a new Fleet Mark booster. Uh, it costs 15,000 Fleet credits, and it gives you apparently 20% extra Fleet Marks up to 100, and then you have to buy it again. Uh, it's a start. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how well it'll go, but we'll see. Um, <clears throat> I set up the whole Heroica thing today. It was glorious, and I will put a photo set down below in a link. Um, I uh, am looking forward to playing the whole thing tonight with a couple of friends, and then again on Saturday I'm going to bring it with me to my D&D &D game, and we're going to give that a spin then. So, um, definitely looking forward to trying it out. Um, downside is, now I got this big brown box with the empty boxes, because I ins consolidated all of the tiles into the Fortan box. And I put all the manuals and stuff into a Ziploc freezer bag, folded that in half, because really it's only about the size of the quart bag, but I couldn't close the quart bag. So, uh, stuck that in that box, and then I'm using this storage case to store all the microfigs, uh, all the weapons, the hit point trackers, the potions, the gold, you know, the dice, that, that sort of stuff, the extra stuff. So, all the, like, the, all the map pieces are in one box, and all the details that go on the map pieces that tend to get moved around a lot are in the other. Um, it's nice convenient and I'm only carrying two boxes instead of six in that thing and I don't even think that thing could carry all six so <sighs> anyways I'm very excited for gaming uh, let's see what time is it it is a little after one which means Star Trek should be I knew it I knew I should replace the battery I knew it but I thought I could get it in damn it anyways I'm excited about playing Heroica tonight and seeing what the patch has done for Star Trek Online. I'm also looking forward to new stuff coming in Star Trek Online. They are looking into being able to change the color of the interface, uh, which will make it much more palatable for me to play the Klingons. I'm not a huge fan of staring at a big red interface the whole day. Uh, I'd rather it was darker colored uh, than, than, you know, red. I would go for purple. I would go for green. I would go for... Some kind of, like, puke yellow. I mean, I, w I would go for anything but just solid red. Uh, it just... On the one hand, it irritates me. On the other hand, it makes me hungry. So, that's color psychology for you. Anyways, uh, well, also, they're going to do a whole bunch of other updates in the near future to Stowe. So, I'm looking forward to all of that. I'm also looking forward to uh, what, if any, uh, other sets are coming for Heroica. The only set I know of that's coming out is a small piece, probably about that big, and it's called Ganrash, and uh, it's going to be just a little kit that's like a little expansion thing, um, uh, like a, a couple of goblins and a relic. Uh, I think it's supposed to come out soon as kind of a precursor to the, uh, uh, the, the place the barbarian is from. Uh, the, the Barbarian Village Barish Settlements, I guess? I don't know. Uh, but there are supposed to be other maps. I'm just looking forward to seeing them when they do come out. And i got to keep my ear to the ground with regards to LEGO sets because they tend to sneak in. The whole Heroica thing snuck in under my radar, and I hit it just the right time to get all the sets in one go. So, um, or thus far. Anyways, uh, that's enough about that. And uh, until next time.